What is the NBA news of which you spoke moments ago, Christopher? All right, uh, 15 minutes ago, Sham Sharanya tweets, Phoenix Suns and Mercury owner Robert Starver has announced that he has started the process to sell both franchises. See you. Get out. Don't let the door hit you in the behind on the way out. Robert Sarver. Anybody who has read anything to do with this execrable human being, look it up, knows that this is the only way to go about it. The only way to go about it. And, you know, I know the commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver, took the old slings and arrows, which is what a commissioner does, when he only suspended Sarver for a year and fined him $10 million. But a commissioner cannot force an owner to sell a team. You can't. The membership can force the sale of a team. Although you could say, well, what about what happened with Sterling? Well, Donald Sterling, you know, I guess had... The, it is, the idiocy to have it on tape. I guess if Sarver was had, had his stuff on tape, uh, he'd have been gone a long time ago. That's just, I think, the way things work in the 21st century. And the, the other people who can force the sale is somebody like LeBron James tweeting about it and Chris Paul on the team saying this isn't good enough. So the writing's on the wall. I guess a minority partner of the team as well said, get out, get out, Robert Sarver. Just go. Yeah, Forbes has the Suns See were, uh, valued at one point eight billion. Well, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, maybe the minority owner could just say, "I'll take your shares." Maybe. The you fact know, that Chris I mean, Paul's got to go through this twice, though, in his career, I is know, unbelievable. I know Sterling man. and now Sarver. This it's unreal. Of course, uh, Sarver did kind of do what I thought he was going to do in his statement, based on our yeah. current unforgiving climate. So he, you know what, he, he played that yeah, getting, yeah, yeah. getting canceled card you know, on his Yeah, yeah, he got canceled. Know. He got canceled. Yeah. Okay, Robert, look in the mirror. You know, and that uh, that other st- the statement too uh, outraged me as well because it is what uh, so many people do these days when they apologize to say to anyone I offended, right. mm-hmm. as if that's a subset of the human race, yeah, right? As opposed to you were offensive to everyone, pal. He also started off as a man of faith, so I, I'm willing to bet I don't know him. He probably ain't a man Look, of faith. But. <laughs> I don't know him. I've never met him. All I know is I could see what's in his soul based on what was yeah. found out and Some investigated. Stuff, but man. again, that's you hear that. Like, to anyone that I've offended, it's just like, okay, no, no, no. You're not allowed to create that subset of individuals, that smaller set of the human race. Just those are the people you offended because what? Your language and the way that you were, there were other people that weren't offended by it? Oh, oh okay. I got it. And those people, guess what? They're just, they're, they're, they're bad. They're just as bad as you. <laughs> Pound salt. And to, to anyone, so I would like to put out a statement to anyone who wasn't offended by what Robert Sarver was founded <laughs> right, to do. Right. You're, you're terrible too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How, about yeah, How about that? How about that? And that, and that's from the subset of the majority of people who read about what Robert Sarver said and did. So, there you have that. There you go.